were also very aware of separation and the pain that that can bring. Yet we are confident that we will meet Edwin again. We're here remembering everything that he was. All the wonderful memories that we have of Edwin. The laughter and the joy. celebrate and give thanks for the life of Edwin Andrew Elliot, Papa as we know he was called. A life well lived, a long life. However, we also realise no matter how long that life is, when the time comes we're never quite ready to say goodbye. But Edwin did have a good life. We've heard he was a wonderful husband. One of a kind who I was told in the 70 years of marriage never raised his voice. And even after 70 years together, noticed when his wife got her hair done. 
I was there the day in hospital when Ronnie walked in and Edwin opened his eyes and said, you've got your hair done. <laughs> Edwin would brighten up when Vonnie entered the room. He was a loving father, a grandfather, great-grandfather, father-in-law, and he was loved by all those around him. It was evident to see that. It was a house filled with love. Many people said to me over the last few days of how they always felt welcomed in that home. I know that because I felt welcomed from the very first day I went to visit. Edwin was sitting in his chair, he had the Methodist newsletter in front of him and he pointed to a picture in it of me on my commission and said, that's you. He welcomed me, as did Vonnie from the beginning, red hair and all. He said he liked it, although he declined when Ida offered to do his hair the same colour. And even when he was in the hospital, Edwin would respond when Vonnie came in. A funny story is when Vonnie told us she thought she heard a noise in the house. She got up with her stick in hand to investigate. And Lorraine and I were talking about what she would do if someone came in. And Lorraine said, I wouldn't like to meet that lady with a stick in her hand. And we heard a giggle come from the bed. And Edwin started laughing. He had been listening to it all. Now, Alicia, one of um, Edwin's granddaughters, is going to bring a poem entitled, Miss Me, But Let Me Go. Thank you. 